Hey, what's up? It's Juan Cardoso from the Social Conscious Blog, and I'm here with Liam from Taking a Global. Hey, Liam, how's it going? Oh, it's going great. Really good. Uh, thanks for having me. This is a wonderful space. Thanks. Um, so let's talk about the organization that you work for, Taking Absolutely. a Global. What exactly is Taking a Global, and like specifically, why was it created? Cool. So basically, Taking a Global is the world's largest uh, social network for social change. So what we do is we connect young people around the world who are working on the projects that they're they're passionately engaged with um, and, and connect them to opportunities, to each other, to places where they can have their voices heard on a bigger kind of stage, um, to tools so that they can make the action that they want to see happen more quickly and to connect to other people and kind of gain more momentum for their campaigns um, and to engage with decision makers so that uh, actual change can happen on a policy level as well. Right on. Um, we were founded about 10 years ago um, by our two lovely co-founders. Um, they were rollerblading and they were figuring out like if we could do anything, what could we do? Because they were kind of young, passionate people who had all kinds of ideas about how to make the world a better place. And so they basically started um, a network of young people who want to change the world and uh, supported them through technology and through various programs that we run here on the ground. Speaking of your website, you've got an amazing website. Okay. Um, what can people do through your website? Absolutely. So there's, um, it's kind of like the standard social networking type of thing. So you can create a profile and talk about the interests that you have. Um, you can start or even engage in discussions that are already going on with people from all around the world who are, who are talking about social issues. Um, you can find opportunities for employment or for grant opportunities for uh, organizations that you're involved in. You can share art. Um, you can start projects and collaborate and get people kind of involved with those and, and start like mailing lists and groups. There are action tools so you can start petitions. Um, there are commitments so that you can um, say the change that you're going to make in the world and then follow up and kind of check in with other people who are doing similar things. Um, there are regional hubs so you can figure out what's happening in your country or in your community. Um, and then there are a whole series of programs that we run for kind of deeper engagement. Oh, awesome. Uh, speaking of programs, what are some of your current programs? So some of the programs we're running, um, there's a whole series of different Sprout initiatives that are basically right. kind of a peer mentorship um, program for entrepreneurs who have the kind of the spark of an idea but aren't sure how to take it to the next level and really flesh it out into a project that could run. Um, so there's a whole series of kind of educational um, opportunities around that. There's Tread Lightly, which is our um, ecologically kind of minded program, and that's about measuring your ecological footprint and then figuring out um, a different series of actions that you can sign on to right. and commit to, to actually reducing that. Um, there's the Deforest Action uh, Program, where we're sending uh, 12 eco-warriors to Borneo to um, raise awareness and to uh, raise funds for a, the world's largest and most technologically sophisticated orangutan sanctuary, cool. um, while at the same time shooting a 3D digital movie. We have um, TIGED, which is our platform for educators, uh, it goes on and on and on. We have 22 active programs actually right now, so there's a lot of different things happening. I know you touched on education and educators. Who do you sort of normally work with? So our partners range from the young kind of passionate people who are doing the work kind of in the trenches of social change, uh, teachers who are interested in connecting their classrooms to the world at large, um, to kind of governments and people who are, are making decisions and have kind of... Um, sway over over certain international kind of um, funds or, or processes that are happening. Um, we work with some corporations who want to do kind of social responsibility programming. Um, the whole range of people we work with, like basically we see ourselves as a, a network of networks and that whole um, kind of umbrella encompasses you know people all around the world who, who want to make a cool change in the world. Cool. Um, seems like you guys are doing a lot of things. But um, as an organization, I'm sure you've run into a lot of challenges. Mm -hmm. uh, what have been some of your major challenges? And on the flip side, what have been some of your major achievements? I would say some of our major challenges come um, when it comes to funding. In, in many ways, we have to kind of go to where the resources are and to enable us to do what we want to do. Um, it's almost as if, so we're, we're trying to change systems and have them be more kind of youthful and representative of the change young people want to see in the world. But at the same time, we depend on that system for our own survival. So it's, it's this weird kind of insider-outsider thing where you are both you know, trying to engage and, and rebuild this system, but at the same time depending on that system to pay the bills and keep the lights on and the, yeah. and the broadband coming in. That's so true. that's, that's a, a challenge that we've been dealing with. Um, in terms of I mean, major successes and achievements, 
Um, there's so many. It's really difficult to pick a couple. For me personally, uh, being able to go to COP15 and, and run an international youth delegation with people from 30 different countries on it was pretty <laughs> pretty intense. Pretty um, impressive, eh? Yeah, to, I mean, to, to have curriculums and, and books and, and kind of teacher uh, resources that I've helped to work on um, be translated into nine languages and be able to use those in, like, university courses that I'm taking, that site myself was a pretty cool one. But as, a, as an organization, I mean, just being around for 10 years would be a major achievement. To even just Definitely. survive in this space for that long um, is, is a major kind of achievement that we're super proud of. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, and speaking of young people, right? Why do you feel like it's important for young people to not only understand, right, but take action against um, some of the world's biggest challenges? I think when young people understand their role in the world, it you kind of have this zooming out effect where you see your relationship with your community, both on kind of the national, local, and like micro level, but also on an international scale. It just changes how you see the world and really empowers you. Um, also, when we get young people um, hooked on the idea that they can actually make a change and that they can work towards the future that they want to see, um, they get a lot more confidence and they're able to kind of tap into all their youthful energy and able to sustain that change making, hopefully for, for many, many years so that they're able to kind of look back and see like maybe it started when they were six or 11, but if, if they kind of go through a whole career knowing that they have the power to change the world, then the world's going to be a much better place when, when young people feel supported and uh, connected to their, their fellow people around, around the, the world. It's almost as if we require major, major challenges in order to like rise to the occasion and go beyond them. Um, it's the same way that like world records keep getting broken, right? Like yeah. without that really difficult challenge that we need to, to all come together and, and work on, um, we wouldn't be driven to, to meet the, the, that challenge. Wow, what an excellent answer. And on that note, I want to thank you for like doing this with me and um, good luck to taking it global. Thanks very much.